नमस्कार स्वागत है आप सभी का एंड फॉर दोज हु सेलिब्रेट गणेश चतुर्थी हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं On September 9, Russian President Vladimir Putin took part in the 13th uh, BRIC summit held under the India's uh, chairship via video conference. In the first place, he expressed his gratitude to Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi and all Indian friends for the active work conducted by India as the BRICS chair this year. He underlined that despite the unusual conditions uh, caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, India as the chair has done everything it uh, could to ensure the progressive development of a strategic partnership of BRICS countries without any setbacks. Such close BRICS member states partnership is in demand since the situation across the world remains quite turbulent. Regional conflicts haven't stopped on the contrary they have erupted again becoming more violent us and its allies withdrawal from afghanistan has led to a new crisis and uh, it's still unclear how this aff will affect regional and global security evidently russia just like its brick partners has consistently spoken for establishing a long awaited peace and stability on the afghan soil the citizens of this country have fought for decades and deserve to exercise the right of defining what their state will look like on their own. On September 8, uh, Secretary of the Security Council of the Russian Federation, Nikolai Patrushev, paid a working visit to India. He was received by Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi and had a separate meeting with the External Affairs Minister Dr. Jai Shankar. As a follow-up to the telephone conversation between uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin and uh, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, held on August 24th, Patrushev had uh, detailed consultations with National Security Advisor to the Prime Minister of India, Ajit Daval. The sides exchanged views on military, political and socio-economic uh, situation in Afghanistan. They touched upon uh, humanitarian and migration problems in this country, as well as prospects for the Russian-Indian uh, joint uh, efforts uh, aimed at uh, creating conditions for launching a peaceful settlement process based on an intra-Afghan dialogue. The sides also discussed deepening bilateral cooperation in the field of security with the, an emphasis on further interaction on the anti-terrorist track in combating illegal migration and drug trafficking. On September 7, chairperson of the Russian Upper House Valentina Matvienka took part in the fifth World Conference of Speakers of Parliament held in Vienna. The world is more interconnected than ever that it is impossible for a state to confront the, pand the pandemic alone. It is impossible to achieve climate change in, on one continent. It is uh, impossible to overcome terrorism alone. It is unacceptable to try to ensure the prosperity and security of some nations at the expense of others. National and bloc-based egoism is becoming one of the main obstacles to uniting the efforts of mankind. The so-called sanctions did not stop any conflicts and did not change the foreign policy of other states, but they hit the population hard first and foremost. And in the context of the pandemic, entire countries are deprived of equal access to vital medicines, vaccines and medical equipment. On the sidelines of the conference, uh, she also had a meeting with Lok Sabha speaker Om Birla. They discussed development of the interparliamentarian ties between the two countries, the role of uh, parliamentarians in securing uh, potential of uh, trade, economic, uh, political, cultural and humanitarian cooperation, as well as joint efforts to combat COVID-19 pandemic. On September 6, the embassy hosted a solemn ceremony of presenting the Order of Friendship to the first president of the New Development Bank, Mr. Kundapur Vaman Kamatha. In his address to Russian ambassador to India, His Excellency Mr. Nikolai Kudashev noted that this award represents deep appreciations of uh, Mr. Kamatha's outstanding professional skills as one of the leading economists and recognition of his uh, great contribution to the New Development Bank's activities. The ceremony was attended uh, by the ambassadors from BRICS and CIS countries representatives of the Indian External Affairs and Finance Ministers, diplomats, experts and journalists. Furthermore, we would like to draw your attention to the Russian Energy Week 2021, which will be held on October 13-15 in Moscow. The main events of the forum are planned on October 13-14, 
The Youth Day will take place on October 15. In addition to the business program, there will be an exhibition of major energy companies, some of which have already taken initiative to organize their booths at the Forum. If you wish to submit an application to attend the event, please uh, sign in at the official website. Link will be in the description. That would be all for now. Tune in for real news from Russia posted on our website and social media and see you online.